The pixel art game is what the aesthetic means. It has so many words of perfection, adorable, meaning, and effort to create the best pixel art games for mobile. In this video, we try to update the game so everyone will get the new release pixel art games in many games genre. Remember to help this channel by giving a like and comments. Please enjoy the video of Top 10 New Pixel Art Games Mobile New Release New Update New Game Pixel Art for Android and iOS Hawk Hawk this game is one of the best action hack and slash games. It's just a triple A game with so much obstacle in a higher level difficulty. I suggest you try this game if only you like to play a hardcore game action at all. The gameplay is absolutely the best. It has way too much challenge, starting from the enemy and how this stage needs a lot of concentration to do. Every single movement should be remembered because you will find several times of the same stages. No matter how long you play, as long as you cannot remember the place, then you will be stuck in the one position. Hawk is full of action hack and slash in combat, especially the boss battle is way too tough to defeat. We need to remember his pattern because the damage will deal in a higher number so we can die easily. There are three main action we can do which are hook, slash, and jump. Try to master every single action on the right timing and it will determine your winning rate. Hawk is the best 2D ARPG game for mobile. Pixel First Pixel first. Finally, we have a new pixel art game in a card battle mode. I think this game is really easy to learn and master since we play the game in early game. Even if you just skip the tutorial, I'm sure you will understand the combat easily. We don't need to focus on many indicators. We only need to place the highest number to deploy. Then the card will attack the enemy in a random damage. The UI is pretty clear and simple. We don't even see any problems to understand each icon on the screen. After we finish the combat, we will have a chance to increase and improve the hero status and strength by using our gold, which we can earn after clearing the combat. Every day, you will have a chance to watch some ads to give a nice reward to speed up your progress. More buildings and features will be unlocked after we reach a higher level. Overall, I see the game doesn't have any special visual effect, which is this game is a great newbie friendly. School, the hero. School, the Hero Slayer Mobile. Can you guess which developer was making this game? Yes, it was made by Play the Goose. As you all know, this game's developer made so many cool games. They are Potion Permit and also Dead Cells. Now you know how well they create a new game with a great storyline and very attractive combat. The main visual has a dark fantasy team will fight with an undead creators in a side-scrolling perspective. Even if our main hero is a school, but he can transform into a different form. When we change his head, then the appearance will be adjusted, the same as the power. Try to become stronger through leveling up the passive skill like bond, skill, and spirit. Those skills will have another three system that we need to select and increase a different status. Just to let you know, School the Hero Slayer Mobile successfully hit 2 million players worldwide in the PC version, and now they are successfully porting this game on mobile. There are so many rewards that have been achieved before, I hope the developer will Will add a controller support. Lunar Knight Roguelike Lunar Knight Roguelike RPG This is the best new roguelike pixel art game for mobile. It is full of action with immersive graphic and engaging gameplay. As a roguelike game, we will be able to select a different ability after clearing one stage each capture will have 10 level stages. They all will be protected by the monster and also have a different obstacle. The level of the game's difficulty is quite easy to clear. I don't even have any problem at all. The game doesn't focus on the storyline. It's full of actions, especially if you already have a lot of effect skill. Then it has so much flashy color around you, like fire, wind, water, and many kinds of the elements. That's for dealing the damage to the enemy around us. The combat mechanism of Lunar Knights lets the hero move while attacking. It's pretty good action to dodge many monster attack. We will have 4 life hearts as the indicator will live. Try to survive by making a good distance while attacking. Dodge and skill button will be able to unleash continuously. It will help you to keep pushing every stage you face. This is the best new pixel art game RPG for mobile. Maki's Adventure Light Maki's Adventure Light 
This game has so much potential to become the best. The control is very adorable, even better than any pixel game I have found. It has a dark fantasy theme in backgrounds. We will become an evil as the main hero with a sword as our main weapon. So the combat role become a close combat. We should do a hack and slash to kill the monster around us. The game is full of gates that we need to find every key to open it up and move into a different area. Some monsters have a flying ability, so also we need to learn and master air combat fighting by combining jump, attack, and dodge button. Jumping between the wall is possible to climb up into the area. So far, I have found any interesting storyline. I prefer to enjoy the combat gameplay. The enemy we face is quite difficult to kill. Try to remember his pattern and it will easily kill them all. Maki's Adventure has the light version which is free to download on Play Store and it's playable as the best offline RPG games for Android and iOS. Yes. Crypto Fighters Crypto Fighters. I wonder if the developer wants to remake this game to beat them up games genre. Look at how funky each character looks. It will make the game even better. The character appearance is way too good as an idol actually. In fact, the combat mechanism is not polished perfectly. Especially when our hero will do an auto skill or attack while we turn on the auto features but actually, we can play the game manually as a turn-based game RPG pixel art style. So the hero will have some energy that needs to cast the basic skill or the ultimate skill. The skill visual looks like a pepper battle which doesn't have any animation at all. Before we get into the combat, we can manage or edit the team formation. Remember to use the craft system to increase a better artifact. These items will boost your character's level and become top tier in strength or power. When you feel your team is ready to fight and well prepared, then try your strength in PvP battle. Unfortunately, the matchmaking is taking a longer time to finish. Crypto Fighters is the best new pixel art RPG turn-based game for Android and iOS. Zero to Hero Zero to Hero Pixel Saga If you are looking for an idle game full of fun ambience, then this game will fit on you. It has a build-up character base where we don't even need to do anything while in combat. Every single hero will launch an attack by themselves even if we don't even need to pick up any skill because it's 100% out of combat. The only thing we should be concerned about is we need to concentrate on making our heroes stronger by leveling up the level but it will cost some in-game gold. There are so many features that will be unlocked. When we clear a certain mission that everything will be available to unlock while we are at the lobby. Because as I mentioned before, we cannot handle and control the hero at all. So the main preparation is the main key to win every single battle. Anyway, we can speed up the gameplay by multiple speed, but this feature is locked in the early game. It will be unlocked after we finish the tutorial. I love how the character has a 3D model and pixel art model, it's perfectly made. This game is one of the best new pixel art games in portrait perspective, but anyway, I prefer to play an idle pixel art games in landscape mode rather than a portrait mode. What do you think? Dungeon Warrior Dungeon Warrior. I remember playing the same character as this game, but I forget the name. The developer seems to be making a different gameplay with the exact hero's appearance. This game needs more optimization from combat fighting, especially when we do a hit from a, an air combo and also how the character looks so small from this perspective. The camera should be adjustable to make it even closer and we can clearer seeing the hero, but overall it's well made actually. The game is focusing on the actions and not the storyline. That's why we will not find any story since the game started. There are a few buttons we can play, they are attacking buttons, dust, and jump. Overall, the game is quite generic. It totally has the same combat mechanism as the other side-scrolling game Pixel. Are you interested in this game? Please write in the comments below, thanks. The Abandoned Planet the Abandoned Planet, such an interesting game full of story base and come with a mystery storyline. The game will set in an abandoned planet where our skyship has fallen down. We must investigate every single object around us and get some hint about what happened on this planet. There are so many puzzles that we are really need to solve by using a different items. Make sure you always scanning around you to get the small things that will be really useful for your hint. It's surprising when a pixel art game has a voice 
is over, the narrator will tell us clearly about the situation and about the items that we are using on. So I highly recommend you all to turn on the voice to listen to the explanations about it. We always need to place and try many kinds of item object into a different location to put it on the right place. When we successfully do it, then the new area will be unlocked and we can explore it any times. But remember to keep focusing on every hint you get. Anyway, the abandoned planet is one of the best pixel art games offline for mobile. But right now the developer are on development, which is we will find so many new updates soon. Please stay tuned on this channel to get the news. Home Planet and Hunters Home, Planet and Hunters. I'm really interested in the gameplay and how the graphic looks. It's totally adorable. The game mechanism lets the player maximize the player potential by focusing on the enemy's movement and action. Sometimes the enemy will come after us from a blind spot which is from behind. So we really need to play the game manually by navigating each hero and moving it into a different directions. By doing it, I'm sure your hero can survive longer. Try to target the enemy with a longer range by dragging out the skill to the target that you are expecting. Also, some special items will drop recently, get it to give a new special skills. The skill will be adjusted based on the items that you are using, but it's only unleashed once, then it will disappear. That's why I really love the combat mechanism, it's full of strategy and should be done manually. The more focused you are, the more success you will be become to anticipate any enemy's movement. The hero's appearance will change based on the equipment that we are wearing. Home Planet and Hunters is the best new game pixel art for mobile. Sword of Confalaria Bonus Sword of Confalaria The more you play this game, the more exciting you will become. That's how this game will affect to a pixel art game's lover. No matter how much you love, you have on pixel art RPG games, but this game will give you a new level of satisfaction. The gameplay is absolutely brilliant. It has so many features in combat action like we can fire the grass to create the AOE effect, explode the barrel, and push the enemy from a high ground to the lower ground. The music is perfect perfectly blended with story and how the developer start on making the anime visual, it will represent the actual characteristic of every hero. After waiting for several years, finally the best GRPG in tactical art style will become a great mood booster to kill our time then. These all are the best new pixel art RPG and many kinds of games genre that we really need to play. Remember to help this channel grow by hitting the like button. See you in the next video, thanks!